Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Well, welcome to the Thanksgiving episode of Cut the Tape. I'm Rick Alvarez. Something amazing happened. A, a Thanksgiving miracle happened. So, Diva, my Rottweiler, she sleeps with my eldest daughter, Casey. And usually between 3 and 5 a.m., Diva starts scratching at the door because she needs to go out. So, I take her out. Put her back in Casey's room. She keeps scratching at the door, scratching at the door, scratching at the door. I'm like, all right, kid, what's going on with you? So I take her out again. I'm like, all right, let's just go sit on the couch. 5.25 a.m. It's Black Friday now. I check Amazon just to see, hey, maybe that rescue bot set that I don't need but want because it's exclusive to Amazon is on sale. It is. It was 65 bucks. It was down to 45 bucks. Boom. Bought it. Instant buy. Bought a bunch of res other rescue bot stuff just because it was on sale, right? It is Friday. I ordered it this morning, 5.25 a.m., it is 8 o'clock at night right now. It got here already. Some of it got here already. It's crazy. It, it already got here. It's crazy. This is the world we live in now. It's not a particularly exciting box. It says products and color may vary. Includes one figure. It doesn't tell me which figure it is. It just has an assortment number. All right. Let's cut the tape. I'm dying to see how these things are packaged. These are the, the older rescue bots with the plastic coloring in them. That's clear. Ah! Yes! It's packaged in another box. Well, that's very interesting. There is no box. This is the box. That's quite interesting. It just comes sealed as is. Now, I can't remember for the life of me if these came carded or not. I know they came carded, maybe not with the clear plastic on them. I can't remember. But, there it is. There it is. Where does the weapon go? That doesn't make sense. Why, the, why would the thing go up there? The weapon should go here. That doesn't go there. I mean, it doesn't go in his hands. Does it go on the bottom? It goes on the bottom of his hand. You know, the sad thing is, I have to wait like 10 to 15 years to get a chug version of this. Like a legit chug version of it. So that's interesting. I did not know of oh, that character's heat wave, by the way. It converts to robot. That's very interesting. This was all that there was. It was a bag and a brown box, and that was it. This is it. Look, that that's very plain. Very, very plain. Interesting. Very interesting. I got this as well. 
Now, I think this is the three pack of Bumblebee. Like, there's like a dinosaur Bumblebee. Like, uh, some of these started showing up at Ross, right? And in, in like a nice carded pack. And I thought that's what I was ordering, but it appears. This is like, you know what this is akin to? Ordering from Sears, like back in the day. So there it is. I believe this is the three pack with the dinosaur bumblebee. And holy crap, it is. Check that out. This is um, Heat Wave. Looks like a Snarl and a Grimlock. Um, I wonder if this Grimlock is the same color. It looks to be, this is a silver Grimlock. The one that came carded is like a brownish, a light brownish dark gray color Grimlock. So that's a repaint. I thought Bumblebee was in this set. I wonder if I got the wrong one. But that's okay, because I didn't have this set. I didn't even know about this set. Um, to open or not to open? I mean, I guess it's already opened. Wow. So that, that amazes me that I ordered that. And it came, here's here's another thing. I ordered this the other day. So I was talking about Amazon exclusives, right? Amazon exclusive five pack. This is kind of like the um, the gravity bots. This is the mini bot racers. Stand them up and they transform. This one comes with a placemat. Um, yeah, uh, this is the same as the ones that came carded individually. I don't feel the need to open it sorry but yeah it's a nice little gift set and it's stuff like this is, that's an amazon exclusive um the other amazon exclusive which was on sale today for 45 bucks it's the big optimus and i think the trailer it's got like the ultra magnus feature but then i think it becomes wings or something and that came with three bots in it i want to say one of them was exclusive I mean, there's so, there's, there's so much product. There's so much product. Even someone like me who tries to get, like, everything, I'm just, I'm having a hard time. I'm, I'm just really having a hard time even keeping up with stuff that's like, oh, this, there's this uh, Universal Singapore exclusive, you know, they're tough to get, you know, like, J Balvin, J, J Balvin, J Balvin. I, I don't I do, is this is this a musician? Is this a person? Is this a YouTube person? Is it, is this a TikTok? I don't know. I I, I don't know. It come it J Balvatron. And it comes with Energia Buzzsaw and Vibra Stripes. I don't I don't know anything about this or who it is it's got the uh lgbtq you know celebrate the colors of the rainbow on it um i wonder if that applies to the lgbtq community i i don't know shop at the speed of culture I'm actually excited for this. This is the Barricade. It actually almost looks like a Cars figure from the movie Cars because it kind of looks like those are two eyes, right? <laughs> so this was a Dollar Tree find, but for a while they were hard to get, and then I saw it, and it, there was like a whole wall of them. Um, so Dollar Tree is not Dollar Tree anymore. It's Dollar 25 Tree starting next year so anyway 
I got two. One to keep sealed. One to open. I don't even know why I'm using a knife on it. It's just been a while since I used old yellow. Anyway, recycle. Recycle. Instructions. File away. You know, it surprises me that they print instructions rather than put instructions on the back. You know what they don't put on the back? A bio. Who is Barricade? He's a cop, but he's a Decepticon. That doesn't make sense. I don't understand it. It confuses me. So, right off the bat, this has way more articulation than the first couple Dollar Tree figures. He's got knees. He's got rocker feet. He's got pelvic motion. He's got elbows and shoulders and his head moves that's a lot of articulation now I, these aren't a dollar i think this is like five bucks but for whatever it is five bucks like i and, you know it's not the best plastic but that's that's a lot of design that's a lot of articulation so kudos that's why I was excited to open it. Because it's something different. And I can't transform it. You th You'd think that I'd be able to transform something as trivial as this, but... There we are. Simple mathematics. Sometimes if it won't go under, you got to go on top. Yep. <laughs> oh, insert inappropriate joke. Not bad. I mean, this has a lot of parts. For what it is. It's got a lot of parts for what it is. I still think it looks like a cars, like a vehicle from the Pixar film Cars, where it's two eyes and it's kind of smiling and it's going to Radiator Springs. Yeah. Um, this is definitely the best out of all of them, out of all these little evergreen branded generic transformers speaking of a generic transformer there's sound wave now this is interesting to me and i want to open this with all two of my viewers here because of this that box art shows the chest opening something flying out and on the back chest open tape flies out now i have not done any reviews on this thing i assume that tape doesn't transform so it's only a matter of time before somebody throws a third parte and uh maybe makes a tape in that size recycle so a lot of people like the legend scale. Uh, that, that's what I'm, I'm used to calling it the legend scale, so I'm just going to call it the legend scale. Uh, a lot of people like the legend scale. A lot of third party companies play in that world. And they've done incredible things with the legend scale. But it, it gets to the point where it's like too much to collect. So I have not been collecting the legend scale third party figures they look amazing some of those combiners look just flat out awesome and it's really cool when you have a whole bunch of guys in the same little scale you're playing a little army right but um there's it's just too much it's too much there's too much third party stuff out there there's too much mainline stuff out there all right so tape has come out and there's a lot of molded detail on the tape I mean the 
transformation parts of a G1 laser beak are on the back here. And that's really cool. On the inside, you got some molded detail. That's cool. I dig it. This is, uh, this is by far, I think, the best one. You know, we've had a million Optimuses. We have a different, bunch of different Bumblebees, Starscreams, Megatrons. I'm glad we're getting Soundwave in the scale. He's, he's a core character. I'm very happy we got him in the scale. It would be nice to have a whole bunch of guys in this scale, but it's just, it's just it's like a rabbit hole I can't go down. It's just too much. It's way too much. At what point does it become too much? At that point, it becomes too much. At that point. Anyway, I was at the mall the other day doing some daddy-daughter time. And uh, we came across something. You know, we, we were going by the store, and it was like generic sports store with like autographed sports things not not necessarily what i'm into and my girl see a bunch of poppets in the window they're like hey, hey, hey let's go we're gonna go, we're gonna go in i'm like no 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 we're not gonna go in they're like we're going in all right we're going in so we go in and the poppet section like it's very misconceiving from the outside you go in it's like a whole wall of poppets and Poppets from this small to like this big. They have really, really, really big poppets. And I'm looking at the poppets and I'm like, a lot of these poppets don't look too licensed to me. I'm wondering. Well, my wondering paid off. Because I found a poppet in the shape of Optimus. Optopopimus Prime. <laughs> this is literally how it came packaged. This was 10 bucks. Now, we had a Decepticon one. It was a Decepticon symbol somewhere. And that one I found at, like, Town Fair. And it had a little tag card on it. This is just like a bag. And somebody put one of these hanger tabs you get off Amazon, stuck it on there and said, 10 bucks. So I was looking online and I found one in the shape of like movie Bumblebee. <laughs> I don't know why kids like this so much. I don't, I don't understand. Remember when, like, spinners were a thing? It feels like spinners were a thing, like, yesterday. And now it's like, spinners, phew, I've moved on to other fidgets. And then there was, like, the fidget cube. And then, like, even Hasbro made, like, a fidget Optimus Bumblebee. Do I have them out here? No. And now this is where we are with popping things. I don't understand it. Right? Like, when I was a kid, we had bubble wrap. And that's what we used to pop. I don't, I don't understand the allure. I don't get it don't get it and then there's like a million different shapes like my girls have a whole bunch of these big ones tiny ones she, Casey has like she loves sloths so she has one in the shape of a sloth I don't know what the I mean that's about as much enjoyment as I'm going to get out of it I don't ever need to play with this again.
All right, since it is Thanksgiving, I'm giving thanks for all the shark decons I found at Walmart the other day. I was starting to get a little depressed because I'd only found one in all my travels. And then I came, this was like last Monday, I went to Walmart over in Ware, the nice Walmart. That's an oxymoron. Anyway, I went to Walmart. And they had just put out a few cases of deluxes, and I took every single shark to con. Boom! Uh, looks like somebody had already beat me to sweeps, but they had shark to cons. They had them up on the top, so I literally used my excessive height to pull down the stack, pull out the shark to cons, put the stack back up. <laughs> I love troop building. Uh, so I haven't decided how many shark decons uh, I'm going to do yet. Um, I think I'm going to cap it at as many as I can find. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to cap it off at, at as many as I can find in perpetuity. That's pretty much what I do with all my troop builders. For transformers cap it off at however many I can find in perpetuity this this is like one of those poppet things all right okay I'm liking the gun very g1-esque I like it even the plastic, even the plastic and the coloring of the plastic feels G1. It's got some back kibble. Look at his little boots, his little booties. So cute, little, little boots. All right, hey, tail. You know what we desperately need? A Super 7 non-transforming Shark Decon. I'll only get two of those. One to open and then one to keep sealed. Anyway, hey, I'm really happy with this. So, one of the last things that I was trying to get done when I was at the Big H was a Shark Decon, a Voyager Shark Decon. And eventually we got the little tiny one. And then there was the one in Cyberverse. And now we got this one. Plus all the third party ones. I have quite the Shark to Con army. It's not as big as my Viacon or my Sweeps Armada. But it's nice. And uh I really like this. I like the little booties. I like the little booty. Look at the little booties. Look at the little booties. Oh, so here's, here's what I would have done. This is just crazy old man Rick talking. Taking a page out of the Marvel guys at the time. He would call up the factory and say, Hey, package the next 100,000 Spider-Mans upside down in the bubble. Don't change anything. Just pack them them upside down. Random things like that, right? Ooh. I like the way this is transforming. So, what I would have done is molded up a battle damaged one with the face busted, but all the teeth busted open. And I would have called the factory and said, hey, halfway through production, switch it to the other mold with the face busted open. And then maybe give it a different head too. 
yeah it's got the little fin on the back it, it's a little weird because like this it kind of looks like a frog and that's all i see now all i see is a frog maybe they can uh remold this into a slapper I love it. I love it. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> uh, crazy. It's crazy the amount of shark cons we've gotten in the last couple years. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyway. That feels very G1S. That feels like very, like, blot to me with that gun hanging off the side like that. Well done. Well done. It's a little antennas up top. But it's fine. It's fine. Nothing... It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. It's fine. Nothing matters. But no nothing matters anymore. Not not in this country. No nothing matters. That's how cynical I've become. Anyway, I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Who who celebrates Thanksgiving? And try not to dwell on where Thanksgiving actually came from. It's that uh, that special time of year where we celebrate. How Native Americans fed illegal immigrants. But that's not how things are remembered. No. No. Because it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Nada importa. Oh, and then there's blur. Anyway, wash your hands, get vaccinated. I got my booster shot. I'm all set. Thank you. Uh... I know I, I get a lot of questions. Rick, are you okay? Or did you get uh, your immunizations? Uh, I'm, I'm, thank you all for your concern. Um, wow, this is a piece of shit. <laughs> I was excited for a second because of how it was transforming. Like, this is like, you know, 1995 Beast Wars action going on. Like, right but then I s the arms don't have articulation <laughs> so it just like I was so excited for it I'm like oh this is awesome and then it, it turned into a cyberverse <laughs> oh man well be kind to one another. Uh, I hope you guys have a happy holiday season. Uh, Hanukkah is right around the corner. Christmas is coming up. Uh, and our, our Muslim friends just celebrated a holiday. So um, be patient with people and be forgiving and try to understand where other people are coming from. And remember, there's always time to cut the tape and sometimes amazon allows you to cut the tape the very same day i brought it all the way back to the beginning amazing yes thank you i'm rick alvarez this is cut the tape and i will see you eventually